black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, what's good? What's the haps with you? Today, as you can tell by the title, we're trying the Maddie Matheson. Now, he does it very more loud because he's very loud and obnoxious, but uh, uh, best ever burger at AW. So he's teamed up with AW to make a best ever burger. And uh, we'll see if it's the best ever. It doesn't look the best ever. He likes a simple burger. I know this. Uh, fun fact, I partied with him one time back in the day uh, at his restaurant called Parts and Labor before his plural heart attacks, before getting sober and then becoming like a TV famous chef guy that he is now. But let's try this food. Uh, I have also a poutine on side that we must deface immediately with ketchup. <laughs> Vartan. I was going to say Farton Fred. <laughs> Shout out Vartan. <laughs> so I just want to get that out of the way for a sec and try this. So what there is, is like a, obviously a patty and then garlic aioli, cheddar cheese, um, caramelized onions somewhere in here. Although they seem to be, oh no, they're, they're there, right there. Caramelized like cipollini onion. And these are fried pickles. So interesting very very beige in nature a very beige burger but uh, let's see what it's like not sure yet Could definitely use more aioli. The pickles don't come through like a ton. It's very salty. Onions are there, a little bit of sweetness. But overall, not even close to the best burger ever. At all. Bun's nice and fresh. But I am... Um, Severely underwhelmed. Bear pickle showing through. I don't know. Not something I would get again. The whole time I was on the website, or on the app, I should say, I was looking and like, I was like, just get teen burgers. Because <laughs> they're just so much better. This is too, um, too many heavy things that kind of just clash together and don't make a lot of sense. You know? The poutine at uh, a &W, however, never fails. Very, very good. So yeah, I did party with him once back in the day. Um, We had like a staff party day where 
our restaurant, we just all gathered up, whoever wanted to come, took a day off, closed the restaurant, and then went to parts and labor. And you just like go and party at another restaurant. And that was a restaurant that he was one of his, I think his first one that he like had his hand in, in ownership. And he got, or that place got really well known for what's called a P&L burger. And then he opened an independent location called just P&L burger, where it was just burgers. Because of the sex success of the burger that he sold at Parts and Labor. And uh, since then, I, why can't I remember? I can't remember what on social media first got him really recognized. But he did start blowing up on socials. And now he has like the show Just a Dash, which is hilarious, very funny cooking show. I think he's got something's cooking, or I think it's something's cooking with Maddie Matheson. And then now he's like out in LA, friends with Benny Blanco, and on like Benny's show. And he is a loud, obnoxious, hilarious guy. I think it comes naturally to him, like as per his personality, which translates well. To the internet to be like just that larger than life entertainer so i understand why he's successful and i think he's very funny myself my last like chef slash friend that i worked for was like maybe a couple years older than me he was always so like envious and jealous and mad and butthurt about Natty getting like some serious limelight because he always called him like a hack chef. The like, that guy can't cook for shit. He's just loud and obnoxious and shit. And I was like, damn, dude. You're green with envy right now, big time. He also tried to fight me one night. And uh, I was like, I'm not going to fight you, A, because like, I thought we were friends. And B, there's just no point. Like, I don't want, I don't want to fight you. But it was funny because it was in a, in the restaurant that we worked at, but after hours. And he was all drunk and he snapped on me. And uh, he like shoved me into these, into like the chairs and everything, the tables. And the chairs were like flipped up for the night and everything. So they kind of came tumbling down. And like, you see me start to like fix the chairs and start putting things back together and, and try and just being like, yo, chill, chill, chill. And, uh, the next day, like, our uh, manager, or the actually the owner of the bar, he's friend, like, we were all partying together. Um, he's like, oh, man, I, like, I watched the security footage just to have a laugh at, like, just watching the event go down. And he's like, it's so funny. He's like, he just confronts you and then shoves you. And then all of a sudden, instead of fighting, you're, like, putting up, like, you're fixing the chairs and trying to make, like, the restaurant nice again. <laughs> it's just like, when I watched it on, the, on, like, the CCTV. It was, he's like, it was very funny how unfazed you were by his attempt to, like, scrap you. And there's a multitude of reasons why I didn't want to fight the guy, but mainly just unnecessary and stupid. Don't want to beat up who I consider was a friend. And that was the other thing too. If I lost my cool, I'm pretty sure I would have beat the shit out of him. But who knows, maybe not. 
he did have some serious range issues, so maybe not. I don't know, but I can get in that too <laughs> when I have to. So, and like I, I'm bigger, I was just bigger than him too. I just, I'm a bigger guy. But anyways, yeah, I would not get that burger again. It is not the best burger ever, but I did have to try it because it just seemed like something I had to do. Okay. All right. Till the next one. You know, do you could live well. Burp. Indigestion. Stay true.